guys that was really bad it's alexis um welcome to another video have you guys got tired of me yet i'm pretty sure you have <laughs> it's thursday i believe i could be totally wrong i don't know what date is it actually but i know it's november halloween passed so like the conspiracy videos the paranormal videos are done no conspiracies ghosts everything they're on it every day of the year we cannot stop we have to keep investigating we have to keep sharing the things we know but um yeah i'm more chill i'm in my you know comfy shirt i got my warm socks and my leggings or tights whatever you call them so i'm just gonna sit back and look at um some conspiracy things on my laptop that was so white no offense if you're white so um i am going to be talking about beatles conspiracies if you didn't know who the beatles are they were a band in the 1950s 60s 70s they broke up eventually two of them died there's just paul and ringo left alive and i was a huge fan when i'm still a huge fan i was alive in the 60s you know when i was a child i used to love them no i um heard about them because i was a fan of the naked brothers band and now alex wolf were big fans made me a big fan i love the beatles uh, music I knew everything about them. I had all their books, but um, I used to do so much research about them that I found some scary things and one of the scary things and one of the biggest conspiracies is that Paul McCartney has been dead for a while. I remember reading this in seventh grade and I was terrified. So I'm gonna give you guys the information because I haven't seen any Beatles conspiracy videos on the internet in a while. I still get like goosebumps like reading about Paul McCartney being dead. I don't know why. Let's go on Wikipedia because everything on Wikipedia is true. Okay, so this conspiracy theory, urban legend, is that Paul is dead. They say that he was replaced by a lookalike and um, we're gonna get the evidence. Okay, I'm gonna read off of this. So it started off with a rumor that circulated around London saying that Paul McCartney had been killed in a car accident. And when this happened, the Beatles were releasing their famous album, Abbey Road. If you don't know what Abbey Road is, it's literally them crossing the street. If you're not a fan of the Beatles, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with that picture at least. And there are supposedly hidden messages in this picture. We'll get, we'll get to that. But um, when this rumor was circulating in, it was 1966, I believe, um, people were saying in their song Revolution 9, if you play it backwards, it's saying, turn me on, dead man. That's scary. <laughs> And they were saying, why if you turn that backwards, you hear that perfectly clear. We're going to listen to that. It's going to give me the chills. And you can tell me if you believe it. Ooh, I have the chills already. I don't want to listen to it. I don't want to listen to it. I don't want to listen to it. I hate songs in reverse. Oh my god. Okay, okay. No, no, no. I don't like it. I don't like it. Shh. I don't know if you guys heard it. I'm literally sweating. I'm back to like seventh grade in my classroom where I was like, I don't want to hear it. I'm going to cry. Oh my God. It's so clear. Let's hear the version, the actual version. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. It says number nine. I literally have the chills. Oh my God. Okay. I don't like that. Anyways, that was one of the clues. Another reverse song. Um, I'll find it and I'll get goosebumps again and start crying. But um, in Strawberry Fields Forever, there's a part that John Lennon says, I buried Paul. What was being said was cranberry sauce. I buried Paul, cranberry sauce. Let's find out. Oh, here we go again. Oh my God, I'm stressing already. I'm stressing. Oh my God, I'm stressing. Okay. Did you hear that in the background? Let me see, I'm gonna put my laptop up to the... That's not cranberry sauce. That was not cranberry sauce. I'm sorry. Oh, I hate that, I hate that, I hate that. Okay, I believe that. I believe any conspiracy theory. You can tell me if freaking guitars are Satan, I would believe you, I don't know. Anyways, um, let's go back to the Abbey Road picture. It's four of them crossing the street. There is, I believe that's George, Paul, Ringo, and John. John is in white, Ringo's in black, Paul is in navy, and George is in blue. I kind of remember, but I'm gonna read off so I don't get it wrong, okay? Supposedly, the album cover is symbolizing a funeral. You know, John Lennon in the white, dressed in white as like a heavenly figure, and Ringo's dressed in black, which symbolizes like an undertaker or maybe someone attending the funeral and George is in denim he's symbolizing like a grave digger and Paul McCartney is barefoot and out of step with the others symbolizing he's the one that's dead um literally yeah his right foot's out first that gave me chills as well let's see what his lookalike looks like yeah so they're saying this is the one with the green is 
the actual Paul McCartney and the one with the red is the look-alike. The eyes look the same, the nose looks the same, but like the face is off. The look-alike's face is more like that. My thing is, when it comes to look-alikes, are there really like people change when like they're mature and growing up when you're 50 years old and you look back at your 30 year old self you probably look completely different but also the same so um the look alike mm, i don't really believe that some of the stuff like i don't know this is what i mean conspiracy theories are crazy because the things make sense but sometimes putting them together is just kind of like mm, maybe i'm crazy those things in the songs i don't know if those are coincidence coincidences coincidences but I mean, those are just a few of the clues. There's actually a lot of clues of the Paul is Dead um, conspiracy. If you guys want me to go further into it and freak out and maybe watch videos on it or more um, songs from reverse because, you know, seeing me in pain is fun to you, give this video a thumbs up. All right, that's the end of this video. Um, I think I'm going to do like another part to the Paul is Dead conspiracy because that one really is interesting and seems more legit than what I just read. And maybe I'll find more or do the ones I know. There's not really like a lot, a lot, a lot of conspiracies because some of them are like reaches. But um, it's interesting because I like the Beatles and you know, I wasn't alive during that time So I want to dig deep into that and I love conspiracies <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or want to see a Paul is Dead part 2 conspiracy video And um, comment below anything you know about Paul is Dead or more proof Let me know so I can put it in a video And um, subscribe for new videos And turn on my post notifications so you know when I upload I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video Follow my social media, links are below. Wow, Jake Paul is shaking. All right, <laughs> bye, I'm cringy.